Welcome back to Hard Knocks Games YouTube channel, Mediocre Painting with me, Wayne. Today's video, we're going to do some comparisons with uh, three different paints from two different paint lines that have the same RAL number. And RAL, cut right there because I got to remember exactly what that stands for. RAL, it's not an acronym, um, but it's a... Uh, it's an actually it's a European color matching system. I think it's based out of Germany that they use for uh, basically powder coat matching and stuff basically across across countries. So everything's supposed to have a certain RAL color code number to it. These three paints that we're going to have are have the same RAL number in the, in the line and we're going to show how similar they are, even though they're made by two different manufacturers. And you can just see that there's going to most likely be very subtle differences but at the end of the day especially with shortages right now if you go to your hobby shop or you come to ours and they're out of your favorite color and you get something equivalent another paint line it's not going to be the end of the world anyway let's jump into it and check out these colors so for purposes of this demonstration i just grabbed three colors off of the new uh, afv color line from ak and their equivalents from ammo of mig now these are both uh, Spanish paint companies in the same vein as like uh, Vallejo Paints or Viejo, if you want to pronounce it uh, appropriately, I believe. But this is the uh, RAL 7028 and RAL 7028 for the Dunkel Gelb. Say in the bottle, pretty similar, but there's a little bit of difference you can see. And we'll see what it looks like when we uh, put it on our, on our palette here. So we're doing the Dunkel Gelb. We're doing RAL 8012, the Rote Brown. Definitely a difference between the pigmentation on those. And we're doing uh, APC Interior Light Green. I guess a lot of these don't have an RAL number, but they're supposedly the same color. We're US APC Interior Light Green. There's definitely a difference on that. So without further ado, oh, let me tell you about our, our makeshift paint palette. You might recognize it from such videos as how bad are Scale 75's attempt at contrast paints? We're using the other side right now. It's been primered with uh, Games Workshop, Corax White. So it's a white primer, but it's got a little bit of gray to it, a little bit of texture so we can see how it acts. So this is what we're using. Just wanted everybody to know what it was so there's no question about, Ooh, what kind of palette is that? What primer? I'm telling you now. So we're going to start with the Dunkel Gelm from AFV. Try to keep this consistent in the video. I'm going to put the uh, the AK paint down first. And as most of these uh, paint lines are, pretty thin out the gate. So we'll let that dry. And then we'll hit it with a second coat so we get nice, good, thick coverage. And now we're going to do the ammo of MIG. It's supposed to be a shaker ball in here. All right. So let that dry a bit. So we're going to move to the Rote Brown. IL8012. Shaky, 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 shaky. So AK on the left. It's a nice reddish brown. Now for the ammo. <laughs> and now for the APC interior green. APC interior light green. And now we'll do the ammo APC interior green. I love our little Lego palette here. All right. I will let all this dry and then we'll do our comparison close up. So here's our dried or mostly dried comparison of these three different paints. And uh, they're pretty darn close. The AK on the left, the ammo on the right. There's some subtle variations. Uh, I think the red is the, the red brown, the rote brown is the most obvious um, variation with one being obviously a little, I mean, the ammo is obviously a little bit more red the Dunkel Gelb, a little bit darker, and their APC light green, a little darker green than the, than the one left. But honestly, if this is spread across an entire uh, army or a model in different spots, it's just going to look like sun fading or sun damage or, uh, you know, they grabbed a different bucket of paint from the motor pool to work on stuff. So, like, literally, this is okay, in my opinion. This is... This is 
this is fine. I think overall it shows that the RAL system pretty good for keeping things at least in the ballpark when it comes to uh, color matching. We see a lot of equivalent paint charts on the uh, internet for if I want this color paint from this line, what color paint can I use from this line that's a uh, similar equivalent? And those are really useful uh, charts and information, but I think there's a misnomer amongst certain people that think that those colors will be exactly the same, and they won't. I've run into this with some customers who have asked for substitute paints, and then they've come back later and said, well, it's not the same. It looks different. I'm like, well, yes, because it's a different company. They use a different formulation, it's going to be slightly different. I don't know if there's legalese behind that, if they can't use the same formulas or what have you. It's okay, is what I'm trying to say. Ultimately, when you're looking at the models from three to four feet away on a tabletop, if there's subtle variations in paint color, most people aren't going to be able to tell, number one. And number two, if we're talking about a realism point of view, if you've ever been around the military or any sort of... Uh, equipment, even like if you've looked at like a construction yard with different like bulldozers and stuff in it, nothing is the same color. Unless they both just rolled off the factory floor at the exact same time, the same day, there's going to be variations in your paint. For me, having that difference makes it a little bit more um, real to repeat myself with the same word. But I mean, maybe realism is not your thing. But, I mean, no two tanks look alike in real life because there's different colors. Uh, there's a hundred different shades of Kark Tan. It's just the way it is. So, anyway, that's just my opinion. Um, obviously, you paint how you want to paint. And if you have to have every color matching exactly the same, that's okay, too. I'm just saying, if you can't exactly match the colors that you want, it's not the end of the world. Bye.